So it's been a while since we've gotten really any news from Jagex as to what is actually going on with mobile. But as of last week or so, they've let the public in on quite a bit of new info. As you all probably already know, mobile was delayed until January, which was announced sometime late last year. With this week's news post, we've gotten a ton of new information. First off is the first beta phase happens this Tuesday, January 30th, and 2,000 players will be invited. Based on how many people play old school, I wouldn't get your hopes up about getting in. I'd love to be one of those 2,000, but I seriously doubt even I have any chance of getting in either. So you're probably wondering, how do I know if I got invited to the beta? Jagex says in bold, we will only send an invite via your in-game inbox. Along with this, you will also receive an email at your app store slash play account email. Please do be careful with this everyone. If you get an email saying you got into the beta, make sure you check your in-game message box first before you click anything. Everything out there right now saying the beta is open or that you've been invited is fake. Don't trust any ads that you see on places such as Instagram. One more note is the code sent to your email will match the one in your message box, so like I said, always check both. Well, that's great and all, but now you're probably wondering is how are they going to pick who gets in in the first place? Well, K stated that they're going to look at which devices people have and pick based on that. I'm assuming this means if your device is a bit obscure, I can imagine that you may have a better chance of getting in. At the same time, it might also be important for the mainstream devices to be bug free first. Now, why was there a delay in getting the beta out in the first place? Well, in the latest news post, they say it's because of the feedback they've received so far. Jmods have had access to an early build for a while, and players have tried it at Jagex hosted events. Plus, with the recent release of the Razer phone, they've been busy using that to do some playtesting of Dragon Slayer 2. Moving on from that, we now have more info on how much space Old School is actually going to take up. Something you'll probably be happy to hear is the app size is roughly only 100 megabytes, but will probably increase with updates. That is extremely small compared to a lot of other mobile games, and means Old School will probably never be the reason you're almost out of space. Also, they give a sneak preview of what the app looks like on your phone's home screen, but the logo is only a placeholder. Now, how much of your phone's internet data is this going to use? With games like this, that can be very important. Originally, Jagex falsely announced that Old School Mobile was going to use up about 103 megabytes an hour. That means if you used it for 10 hours, you'd use up an entire gigabyte of your phone plan. For a game like RuneScape, that seems like way too much, right? Well, if that's what you were actually thinking, then you'd be correct. Those tests were done on a phone that didn't have all of Old School's cache downloaded. They've adjusted it now, so your phone will pre-cache most of the game, meaning you're not constantly, unnecessarily re-downloading data. As a result of these changes, Old School only uses about 500 kilobytes to 2 megabytes an hour, which compared to the last number is insanely small. That means at the maximum you could play 500 hours before using even a gigabyte. Anyway, I think I've covered at least the most interesting and important facts from the Q&A. If you'd like to read through the full Q&A transcript, I'll leave a link in the description below. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.